Hello YouTube! Unless you've been living under a rock for the past few days, you know that this week, well, pretty much today and yesterday, CES has been going on in Las Vegas. And with that comes some pretty big announcements. First, as you might have heard, Palm has announced its two updated versions of its Pre and Pixie line. These two phones will be coming to Verizon later on this month and will be sporting the new WebOS 1.4, I believe. Along with just an updated look and the Pixie having Wi-Fi, more storage has been added and video recording and editing has finally made it to the phone. Which brings me to my little problem. What is it with these new smartphones and their lack of video recording once they come out? I mean, technically, if you're so smart, wouldn't you already know how to record video? I mean, look at the iPhone. It took three iterations of it to finally get video recording. Well, officially that is. Anyway, along with those upgrades, Palm is finally opening up its app program to other more developers, so they'll have a more simpler time adding their apps to their store. In other news, Microsoft announced a slate of their own. Made by HP, this Microsoft slate has multi-touch built in along with a built-in Kindle application. Basically, it's between a smartphone like the iPhone, except not made by Apple of course, and a modern day netbook, laptop kind of thing. From the pictures and videos, um, it seems pretty thin, but will it be better than the supposed Apple slate? People are already saying, oh, Microsoft is just copying Apple. But technically, are they really copying Apple since Apple really hasn't announced that they're even making their tablet PC? You be the judge. As with all the other items in CES, you can expect this one coming out later on in the spring or beginning of the summer. And finally, 3D television is finally rampaging CES. Around every corner, there's a new brand of 3D television. Most notably is Sony's new OLED screen. Although the biggest size is 24.5 inches so far, it sports a super thin design and also comes in a non-3D version. Of course, the Sony reps didn't tell any news outlets when exactly these OLED TVs will be coming out to market, but we'll probably see them sometime in late 2010 or early 2011. My question for you guys is, are you really willing to buy a 3D TV just to have to wear those dorky glasses that you wear in the movie theaters at your own house? I mean, when I go home and put on the television, I just find a seat, turn it on, and watch it. Would I really want to put on some ridiculous pair of 3D glasses and watch television that way? And then what happens if I want to lie down on my bed, then wouldn't the glasses kind of be crooked? Anyway, I just wanted your opinion on the subject, so just leave your comment below in a text reply or in a video reply if you want. Of course, you can watch hands-on videos of the Palm devices along with the HP Slate on Engadget with a photo gallery of the new Sony LOLED display. Links in the sidebar. And that'll be it for today, January 8th, 2010. I'm Michael Vega, and you've just been teched up.